Hello everyone, this is Zerus, the bear is here. Feel free to call me Zerus if you want. I am making this video just to clarify some of the rules I'm going to have on YouTube and some of the do's and don'ts. So first, let's go over some stuff. Alright, first off, I made the background that you see with paint.net Google it and anything else you hear me talk about. I'm not that well with the program just yet. I can do some of the stuff. I can make avatars and signatures. So if you want me to make anything for you, send me the picture and what dimensions you want want them to be and clarify anything else. I'm also using Cam Studio to record this. So, it's a nice little program, it's free, and if you want it, listen to my previous advice. Now, first part, let's go to ROM hacks. Mainly for Super Mario World. With Super Mario World, you're going to use a program called Lunar Magic. Don't worry, I'll have the name of the stuff I'll talk about in the sidebar, so read that. Lunar Magic lets you edit the levels in Super Mario World. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of people able to change the graphics, make it look interesting, like change the color blocks, change the way the enemies look. I cannot do that, so please don't ask me. Only thing I can do is just change the layout of the level and add in stuff and take it out. That's all I can do. Now, if you want me to review your ROM hack, just send me a link on my YouTube account with the file, like from a file holding site or whatever, like file front or something. And I'll record it as soon as I can. Don't rush me in anything that you want me to record. Because if you do, I will probably won't do it. And then do get mad at me for not doing it. Now, some of the do's and don'ts on ROM hacks. Like everyone else, I don't like invisible coin blocks. Mainly from seeing how other um, ROM hack reviewers, if you've seen them, you know how much they hate them. Anything invisible. And anything Kaizo ish. Yeah, Kaizo's not as pretty. And that's about it. If there's anything else that bugs me, I'll record it so you other people can use it as a reference. Now, RPG Maker XP. Later on, I will have some video showing showing off some of the levels. Well, not really levels, but some of the maps I have done so far. Anything that you see in the videos that I will be uploading, that's all I can do in RPG Maker XP. Do not ask me anything outside of that. If you do, you'll most likely get ignored. You have been warned. And let's see, is there anything else? Ah. Mostly all my videos are going to have commentary on them, so if you don't like it, either not watch it or turn off the video. I can't make you do either one, it's your choice. So, I'm giving you the choice either to stop now or just turn down the volume and keep on watching. And if you're going to be watching my videos of RPG P Maker, please be generous. It's my first time trying with it. And I'll get the hang of it eventually. I think that's it, and like I said before, if in, if I find anything else that bugs me about certain things that people do, I'll make a recording of it and post it up so you guys can see. That's it for now. Take care. I'm out of here.